Welcome to another LHB Last Days Update. Today, my friends, we are going to take a look at Satanism um, in the last days. The Bible says that in these days and in the future during the tribulation, men will openly worship Satan. They will openly, willingly, proudly, and boldly worship the enemy of our souls. Let's look at Revelation real quick. In Revelation chapter 13, starting at verse 1, it says, And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven, seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, the dragon of Satan, and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded unto death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Well, this is the Roman Empire that was revived. It was healed. One of the heads of the beast was the Roman Empire, which is healed in modern day Europe. Okay, this is the, the beast of the Antichrist, and this is his kingdom. And all these heads are part of his kingdom, the rulers of his earthly kingdom. And check out um, verse 3. And I, and I saw one of his heads, as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world wondered after the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, which is Satan, which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, the Antichrist, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months, and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All whose names are not written in the Lamb's book of life shall worship the beast, the Antichrist, and the dragon, Satan who gives the Antichrist his power. Today we're seeing, we're living in the days where you see this already. People outright, in open view, worshipping Satan himself, in defiance of the God of Heaven. I, I don't know if they actually think that they will be ruling in hell with Satan. I think they, they might think that. But I have news. You see, Satan's not the ruler of hell. He's going to be hell's prisoner. Satan did not create hell. God did. The fires of hell are God's fire. God is the ruler of hell. God is the ruler of heaven. God will cast Satan and all his angels and all those who follow him into the lake of fire. Satan has no power to save himself. Satan has no authority in hell. Satan has never been to hell. But yet he's deceived many into believing he will reward them for faithful service on earth. How deluded can you be? Satan doesn't love humanity. Satan hates everybody. He loves only himself. That's why he wanted to exalt himself in heaven and got thrown out. You see, if Satan was all-powerful, no doubt he would have beat God already. Right? Matter of fact, he wouldn't have got thrown out at all. But see, Satan is not. He's just an angel. A created being. A very powerful angel. But created by the creator God. God is the one to be feared. God is the one to be worshipped. 
God is the one to bow the knee and give glory to. But in this video that you're going to see, one of many, I'm, I'm afraid that's all over the internet, are two Satanists doing a satanic praise and worship to their fallen Lord and Master, Satan himself. My friends, we are living in the last days. And for those who know the Lord, look up. Your redemption draws near. Your Savior is about to come. Maranatha. Hail Satan! I'm Commander Khan. This is my father is Clodius, Dark Priest, Dark Prince, Commander of the Casinos of Hell, and the Brothels of Saddles. This is an excerpt of the reading. Today's sermon is from the Infernicon, the most unholy book of this plane of existence. This is the opening chapter, the opening surah. The Lord of Fire was seeing into me, and unto this hell, his hell, unto this earth, his hell is bent upon destroying. I call for Lord Abaddon, angel of destruction, who desires all the mortals of this plane called humans dead, exterminated at the hand of his demon legions. Only when our corpses litter the dead earth will this hell have come, his will be done, and his Hail, hunger Satan. for destruction satiated on his plane. Hail, Zeta! Better to kill the angel of destruction, your extinguished self may say, for we mortal humans must stay alive. I say nay, I say catch on fire and kill thy neighbor. Burn down his house, Hail, blow him up, Satan. send him to the flames of kingdom come. Hail. For we are the infernal cult of fire and destruction, not the guardians or saviors of mankind. We serve not Yahweh and his angels, but Lord Abaddon and all the hosts of hell. Lord of destruction, magnificent Abaddon, sing to us. Sing a song about we maggots annihilating ourselves, perhaps. Say no more, Abaddon speaks to us. Abaddon. A scant voice in the dark. Where art thou, Abaddon? A holocaust must be brought upon the damned of mankind. Only when they and their children whisper of draughts to come, the famine of beasts and swarms of locusts visited upon the okay. land. Only when mankind is stricken with great unknown plagues will life cease upon this plane. Aaron. Lucifer. Abaddon has spoken. Heed his words. He is our Lord of Hell. Commander of the hosts of Hell. Lord of Destruction. Lord of Hell. One of the nine princes of Hell. Lord of Destruction. And he, his day is coming soon. For this world will burn in an inferno, an infernicon, an apocalypse for all upon this plane. Hail Abaddon! Hail Abaddon! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in hell. On earth as it is in hell. Excellent. I'm on fire with the spirit of Satan tonight. I certainly am. Yes, yes. Brother Todd. It's the hell of fire. Here in our infernal church. And this is the infernal stone, this piece of hell itself. Symbolically, it's our foundation stone of our coming temple. Our temple, our infernal temple, our temple of Satan. And we are just beginning our services here and unleashing this hell fire into this plane. This is a portal into hell. And we are channeling it and I feel it. I feel the hell fire. I my a fire in the brimstone on my feet, Brother Khan. <laughs> I know you do. This is the infernal church of hell. I feel it now. <laughs> you got to command them all. And I feel it's going to sweep across this world. 
we're starting a conflagration here. I think it's going to spread like wildfire. And I, priestesses, we summon you to the infernal church to the temple of Satan. Yeah. You must visit us soon enough. Yes. And you shall find glory in your life again. Dark glory. Dear, dear Father, as we pray. So. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Hail Satan.